that took a second to sink in. Let's uh, bring in your captain, Dave Stockton. Uh, great memories and also a very, very uh, important week for him. He received the PGA of America Distinguished Service Award. Dave, it's always great to have you on the program. We got Lanny here. How long did it take for to register for you that, yeah, your team had done it? Well, I was, I, I had my head down. I felt so sorry for Longer because it, he was under an awful lot of pressure, and uh, I fully like Lanny. I expect him to make it, and uh, it wasn't meant to be, and next thing I know, Payne was pouring champagne on everybody, so it, it was quite a celebration. It was uh, a great memory for me and the team. Well, David, you know, it, it was a lot of fun for us players, too. I thought you did a wonderful job uh, as captain. It was great playing there, and uh, I thought the preparation that we did was good. You know, going in to play the course early, getting uh, a taste of Kiowa before everybody else got there. Um, uh, what, what do you think was your, were your toughest decisions that week uh, during, the, during the tournament itself and leading up to it as far as captain's picks? Well, the captain's picks, which, you know, I asked you about that. I, I, it wasn't my choice. I didn't have to play with them. And basically, uh, you were one of the ones I talked to. In fact, there were, you know, Payne and you and Azinger and I did an awful lot of talking about strategy when it came to the Ryder Cup. And uh, the two picks were hard. The toughest thing for me was when we had the limo wreck fly, going into Charlotte that, into Charleston that night. And, uh, prior to the matches and having paid hurt so severely that uh, it really affected my pairings. That was the only thing that threw me a big loop because, as you well know, Pate was playing extremely well. I'm not sure his, his career has ever recovered from that because I was going to play he and Pavin together and it wasn't meant to be. In fact, you and Pavin played one match finally because I had to, had to make changes I didn't want to make. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough one. You, know, you know who calls that wreck, don't you? It was Faraday's wife. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Oh yeah. He's, yeah, he's standing was... about fifty. He's standing about. He's standing about fifteen feet from me. So I'm not going to give him the credit. Yeah. Well, yeah. We need to put oh, him boy. on the spot. I about said that the wrong one. word. <laughs> hey Dave, let's let's talk a little bit about anchored putters. Uh, that discussion is in the forefront right now. Your your thoughts on anchored putters? Should they be banned? Do you think they will be banned? Are you saying that, Charlie, just because of your, my build, we'd fit into one of those pretty good? <laughs> Is that why you're mentioning it? I don't uh, need one yet. i tell you Dave. what, it's good. <laughs> well, just stick around. You never know. <laughs> i tell you one thing. There's going to be a discussion out here today. Kiowa's got his teeth up today, and the wind's blowing, and... Uh, We'll find out how much of an advantage it is to be anchored. But uh, where I come down on it, I don't care if somebody uses a putter 12 feet long, but I do not believe it should be anchored on their torso. Um, I, I, saying that, I mean, how do you tell Freddie Couples his putters aren't leader, legal or Bernard Longer? I mean, I know they'll, if they do grandfather something, but uh, I, I, I just, I can't, I can't see anchoring on your torso. I don't think it, we have a hard enough time making ourselves look like athletes, supposedly, which these kids definitely these days are. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but I'm not in, I'm not in favor of their use, I'll guarantee you. David, uh, <clears throat> you're working with Roy McElroy. Do you think you can make him a great putter? I mean, I know he struggled with his putter on and off, and obviously he's working very hard with you. Uh, for a guy to be a really great player, I mean great player, I'm talking Nicholas, Tiger, uh, Watson, you've got to be a sure. great putter. Do you think you can get McElroy to that level? Lanny, I think he's closer than a lot of people believe. Uh, when I worked with him and met him after he had the collapse at the Masters, the only thing I saw was, and you'll appreciate this, he tends to be too fast, which is, a, you know, you and I fall in that category. And I think that's good. I'd rather be fast than slow. And he already didn't have a practice stroke. He'd get up, but I thought he walked in too fast, and I had to work with him to make his left hand go to the hole a little bit better because, like a lot of putters, he tends to pop it. I think he has all the fundamentals, and I think it's it's... I think people don't realize just how good a putter he is, and I think he's right there right now. Well, Dave, we know uh, it's great for you to be back this week, not only the memories, but also receiving the Distinguished Service Award, well earned. Uh, thanks, as always, for the time. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, to get the award here at Kiowa, which 
you know, I mentioned the other night, you know, winning majors like Lanny has, it, it, it's a great thing, but it's an I thing. And to come back here where it was, it was us, the team, and Kathy and I being honored to be picked as the captain and running the show in 91, and Lanny was a great help in that. Um, it, it means so much to receive the award here because we're entwined with the PGA. I'm glad we are, and it's, it's been a heck of a celebration to come back. Enjoy the week, Dave. Thanks again. There is Dave Stockton again working with some of the best players Thanks, in the guys. world and receiving uh, that Distinguished Service Award from the PGA of America. Coming up next on the program, following...